is this two-state solution? You understand, by using that phrase, we all intuitively understand that the Arabs refuse to accept Israel as a Jewish state. That's why we call it a two-state solution. Because really, it's a 23rd Arab state solution. But in fact, the Arab world and the Palestinian Authority doesn't accept Israel's right to exist. They haven't since it began. They haven't since Oslo. They don't to this very day. So we must be sure that a terrorist state doesn't end up on Israel's longest border. Has any population ever been less suited for statehood? Its culture, the Palestinian Arab culture, is drenched in violence and murder and hatred. God forbid such a state comes into reality. The former head of the CIA, Jim Woolsey, said it'll be decades before they might be ready. And when we look at Gaza, it gives us a very good idea of what a Palestinian state will look like with armed gangs and kidnappings and, and anarchy and the rest. We dare not establish such a state. And people like Dennis Ross and his associates from the beginning of Oslo said, the Palestinian and Arafat don't comply with Oslo. We're going to stop that process forthwith. I remember him saying that on the TV show in the very beginning. Then when I went on and on and nothing stopped, I remember meeting with him and others. And they said, well, once they have a state, they'll comply with their obligations. Can you imagine? That's what I was told. Once they have a state, things will be fine. Don't push it too quickly. I said to one of them, I said, you mean if you're do I said, now when they don't have a state is when you would expect them to really be acting wonderfully. But once they have a state and everything we can give, they have no incentive to act wonderfully. This is the time they should be acting wonderfully. And if they're acting horribly now, it'll be worse after a state. I remember saying to one of them, if your daughter was dating, engaged to a guy who was abusing her physically, verbally, in every way, horrible to her, would you say to your daughter, oh, don't worry, honey. Once he marries you, things will be great. 